Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1451. This is a special dedication to Laura Lee, who is uh, stuck with zero points, so we have to help her out with this. Now, because it's a hard level, I'm going to bring in boosters. I don't have any of these to bring in, totally out. I would just start the level with one striped and one wrapped candy, and that would be awesome because it would help me with the initial project of getting rid of the spawners. I will bring this in to help with the spawners, and I'm going to bring in the fish to help throughout the game, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's look at our board. We have 50 moves, which is generous. We only have to reach 32,000 points, but we have to clear out the jelly in these isolated squares that are trapped with this evil spawner residing there in this little island. So that's going to be tough. Now normally I would see if I could open up some of these question marks and pair it with this. Well, look at that. This is stuck over here in this isolation, but that's okay. We're going to use it to our advantage. Now let's talk about the rest of the board. We've got question marks all over. Could be good, could be evil. We don't know until we get things going. And then we've got this conveyor belt, which will help us to position things, but it also may confuse us a bit. Well, it confuses me. So these are going to give us about two to three turns before they get so violent that they start spewing out really thick frosting and they cover up all of this jelly so that we have to uncover it from the frosting before we can get to the jelly. So I'm going to take out some of the jelly right now by removing everything purple and it's going to open up things here and I'm hoping it's going to detonate crazily, uh, not too crazy. And this is now positioned right where I can't reach up here. Well. No, I can, and let me tell you how. If I pull this blue into this purple, what's going to happen is the purple becomes the pivotal candy, and it's going to take out this row, this row, and this row. But if I, sh if I push the purple up into the blue, it'll take out this row, this row, and this row, so it'll hit that spawner. I need to hit the spawners as violently as I can, and also take out the jelly while I'm going. And then the fish go, hi fishies, the fish are wonderful, I love the fish. Okay, so that slowed everything up. So that's what we're using our specials in the beginning for. Now I need to try to make as many striped candies as I can, vertically striped. If I can pair them off with something, great. I can make a candy here, but this one is better because it's positioned right at the spawner. If I can detonate it while it's there, oh, with maybe this, that would be best. Now I have extra work to do, though, unfortunately. Uh, but also, that's why the fish are here, because, oh, you know what, that didn't hit any of the spawners. A little upset by that. Um, the fish can attack the jelly even if it's covered in frosting, so I love those. All right, so we're going to ignore the fact that there's frosting here now. There's nothing much we can do about it, and we are going to concentrate solely on trying to get things to attack the spawners. because the spawners are just going to keep covering over with chalk, with frosting. There's nothing we can do right now until the spawners are gone. Let's see. Hmm. This is a little too crazy with all the red in here. I'm just going to detonate it. I'm afraid it was good. I was just so afraid it was going to take that out before I was ready. Never know what's in the question marks. Could be bad just as well as it could be good, so I wasn't trying to pair it up with this. I had a lot of purple and a lot of orange on the board. What if I tried to take out everything extraneous that wasn't purple and orange? I would find I had no moves. <laughs> I have to take out something purple or orange. I'm holding off because it's somewhat easy to get specials on this board, and I would rather pair this up with a special. It's going to be okay if it detonates wildly out of control. I'll, I'll deal with that. Let's see if we can drop this into position. Ooh, tricky. Well, look at that. Way too much purple. Everything's going to go crazy. Okay, green, stay there. Stay there. All right. We need to really work on making sure that the, the things we have are positioned so they can maximize the damage to those spawners. Oh, so close. 
Now, we've already come in with some boosters, and this is a hard level, and we've got a lot of red just kind of set and ready to attack. I'm going to use a switch hand. Let's see what we can do. Of course, the ones that were set to strike didn't strike very true to the heart of these. But we got one taken out. We have one more to go, and then we get to play clean up. So we're going to look again for another opportunity to match a special. Tricky, tricky. Well, let's go ahead and send the fish and see if the fish will help us. Okay, hit hit there, hit there. No, nope, not quite. Oh, I wanted those purple. I normally don't seat it down all the way at the bottom, but I thought, well, while I'm working on this, this is no longer going to be uh, covered by a spawner, so I can just open that up while I'm trying to figure out other moves. Wow, look at this. We can't quite make it. <laughs> oh, fishy, go. Go, fishy, go. Nope. No. I should also be paying attention to this area up here, but it's so narrow, it's hard to get, you know, the candy's position. I would need a vertically striped candy to strike down here, and then I'd be, have to find a way to detonate it. It's pretty tough, so I'm not worried too much. Let's concentrate more on what's happening up here than what's happening down here. I think my focus is wrong. We're going to pair these guys up together. I would pair these two. Actually, I'm not going to pair these because this one has more chance to strike here solo. If I send it out with this, it's probably going to strike over here and it may just detonate things that kind of don't mind if they get detonated, but I'd rather see if I can strike at that. Yay! Now it's time to play clean up. I've got 18 moves to try to clear out as much of this stuff as possible. If I had my glasses on or I had paid attention, I could see where the jelly was under this because it's not quite as bad as it is when you've got things covered in chocolate. So if I were really concerned I would try to put my glasses on but I think I can take out all of this and not worry too much. Ugh. It's not that I don't have any specials, it's that they're not lining up and I'm afraid one's going to detonate the other. Here we go, a little detonation celebration, see what we can clear out. Ugh. All right, we're just going to let it go. When the uh, color bomb detonates, it takes out one color and concentrates everything else on the board, so hopefully we'll have the opportunity now to make some more matches and specials. And again, the fish is so wonderful for playing cleanup. Now that we're toward the end, let's see if we can hold off on detonating him until we clear out what we can here. Hi, fishies. Actually, now I think this is a good matchup. We've got all the points we need. That was not the issue. See, they strike vertically when they land over in an open space on a candy space. Hum. So take out a fish, make a special, and there we go. That's how we did it. I told you those fish can clear out jelly even when they're covered in frosting. So that's how I beat this level, uh, boostering up. You've got to bring in the boosters on the hard levels if you're stuck here for a long time and you want to 
cleared out quickly. If you're still struggling after bringing in boosters, put something in the comment section. I'll try to help you. And of course, if you want to see more videos, you can always uh, subscribe. So again, I'm going to reiterate, bring in the boosters. Try to make vertically striped, horizontally striped candies that can do ranged attacks over to those uh, sections on the left. And uh, bring in your fish so they can play cleanup. Thanks for watching.